What's up guys, Ryan Knows Tech from techinform.us making a quick video today on Wednesday. I know Wednesday's been a day that I've missed in the past, but I am going to make a quick one today. I apologize, I'm not using the higher quality microphone as I'm not at home at my desk right now. I'm just using the MacBook Pro right now. Anyways, today's the day. I uh, made the video yesterday. It is Wednesday, July 20th, 2011. Looks like Lion has hit the App Store, the Mac App Store, for 30 bucks. Amazing price for an amazing piece of software. Uh, as well as we've seen uh, new MacBook or new Mac Airs, MacBook Airs, I guess. And uh, the new Mac Mini is here as well, two times faster graphics. We're just going to take a real quick look, starting at $599, very, very affordable price point here. Take a look at some of the specs they put in here. We've got Thunderbolt, as we've seen with the new MacBook Pros. Apologize, the internet's a little slow. As I said, I'm not at home. But we've got a 2.3 core, dual core i5, the 500 gig drive, 2 gigs of RAM. I mean, that's pretty low end. You're really going to want to go with a 2.5 gigahertz dual core i5. Um, you're going to get the 4 gigs of memory and a better graphics card, but uh, the one with Lion server looks really good, the quad core i7, 2 gigahertz, same one that's in the baseline, 15 inch MacBook Pro, you've got two 7200 RPM, 500 gig drives, anyways, look nice, if you want to look it up, uh, go to apple.com and take a look at these, the new MacBook Airs look really good too, um, starting at 999 I don't know what it was before, honestly, but this looks like a really good price, 2 gigs of RAM for that, dual core i i5 at 1.6 gigahertz and 64 gigs of flash storage. Uh, that's the 11 inch, you got 11 inch, 128 gig, 128 gig flash, 4 gigs of RAM and the 1.6 dual core i5. Uh, the one you're going to want to look at, at least the one I would want to look at, is the 1.7 gigahertz, quad core, or uh, sorry, dual core i5. 4 gigs of RAM, and then the 256 gig drive for 1600 bucks. So nice updates here. But what this uh, is about, this video rather, is about is Lion, the latest operating system from Apple. It's now available. It's 9.50 a.m. here on the uh, West Coast. Actually, I don't think that's right. I don't think it is 9.50 a.m. I think it's 10.50. I don't know why that's wrong. But uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to install this. You know, there's a lot of features here. Uh, I had a request. I kind of was going to blow it off, and then some people thought, hey, you know, people are new to the Mac. Let's show them how to do this. So open your App Store. Make sure you're currently up to date with the latest version of Snow Leopard. Go ahead, open the App Store, and there it is right at the top. It's featured, Mac OS X Lion. Download today. Just click that. That's simple. Here it is. It's $29.99. This is just like you're buying an application for an iPhone or even another application for OS X. You can see it's 3.49 gigabytes. We're just going to click the price, buy app. They don't even call it an operating system. They call it an application. I'm going to go ahead and authentic authenticate my uh, account there. It's going to take a second. It's going to throw it over there in my dock, and it is now downloading. That easy, guys. It's going to take a long time to download on the slower Uverse. Actually, my Time Warner is faster. I hate to admit that. But it is, uh, so I'm just going to let this download. We're going to go to lunch, and uh, that's pretty much it. If you're looking at this video in the very distant future, and it's no longer featured in the App Store, and you're for some reason having trouble finding it, go to Software Update. The Apple in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, Software Update. I'm sure you'll, sure you'll find it from there. However, it probably will take you right over to the App Store link if you couldn't find that in the first place. Looks like it's got pretty good reviews so far. Of course, there's always going to be some retard to give it one star, but I apologize for that. So uh, that's the uh, little updates they did today. I apologize. Nothing real extensive. If you want to look at it, you know, anybody can sit in front of a computer and read specs to you. You might as well just run over to apple.com, click on the pretty graphics, and look at it yourself and decide which one uh, you're interested in. So thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you're downloading Lion, if you've already got it installed. I've been using it for a while. I know I could have I could have purchased it from my dev account, but then I wouldn't have been able to make or downloaded it from my developer account for free. But then I wouldn't have been able to make the video. It's only 30 bucks. I support Apple, amazing company. So there it is. Hope you guys learned something. Hope I helped you out, and I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.